this video is about perimeter, circumference, and area. By the end of this video, you should be able to find the perimeter and area of squares, rectangles, and triangles, and find the circumference and area of circles. The important vocabulary is perimeter, circumference, area, square, rectangle, triangle, and circle. First, perimeter. The perimeter is the length around the outside of a shape. So if I took this length, and this length, and this length, and this length, and added them together, that would give me the perimeter. Same thing with this. It's this length plus this length plus this length plus this length. I'm going outside the shape. It's the length outside the shape. Now, for a circle, there is a different name. The name is circumference. The circumference is the length around the outside of a circle. So it's this length. It's this length outside a circle. The area is the amount of space inside a shape. Okay, it's the amount of space inside here, okay, or inside here, or inside here. Area. Now, we count area using square units, okay? So I cut this into squares, then I can count how many square centimeters, or square meters, or square inches, or square feet, okay? And this also works for curved shapes, okay? Now, because you have parts that aren't, you have parts that are not whole squares, your, your area may be something like 32.13 inches squared. So this decimal means it, there's not a whole square, but we still count it using square units. Our first shape is a square. So this is a picture of a square. All four sides are the same length, and all four angles are right angles. Find the perimeter and area of a square with side lengths of 6 centimeters. So the side length is 6 centimeters. Every side is 6 centimeters. Okay, first, the perimeter, the distance around the outside of the square. So I have 6 inches, sorry, centimeters, plus 6 centimeters, plus 6 centimeters, plus 6 centimeters, which is 24 centimeters is the perimeter. Now, the formula for the perimeter of a square comes from the fact that I did 4 times 6. I added 6 4 times. Okay, Or, if I call it S, it'd be 4S. And that is the formula 
for the perimeter of a square. Next, the area. If I cut this into squares, then I have one, two, three, four, five, six squares on this side, and one, two, three, four, five, six squares on this side. Now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six groups of six squares. So the area is six times six, which is 36 centimeters squared. I'm measuring in square centimeters. Now, the formula for the area of a square would be s times s, which is s squared. Okay, that's the area formula, it's the formula for the area of a square. Next shape, a rectangle. Find the perimeter and area of a rectangle with a base of 9 centimeters and a height of 6 centimeters. Okay, first to find the perimeter. The perimeter is the length outside the shape. So this is 9 centimeters plus 6 centimeters plus 9 centimeters plus 6 centimeters. Okay, 9 plus 6 plus 9 plus 6 is 30 centimeters. Put this over here actually. Thirty centimeters. Now the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle comes from I have two sides of length nine plus two sides of length six or the formula is 2 times the base plus 2 times the height. And that is the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. Next, the area. Again, if I cut this into 9, Then I have six, then I have nine groups of size six. And the area is nine times six, which is 54 centimeters squared. Now the formula is the base times the height. And that is the formula for the area of a rectangle. Third shape is a triangle. Okay, Find the perimeter and area of this triangle. Okay, The perimeter is 5 plus 4 plus 7, which is 16 units. Okay. In general, I will add up the three sides. Now, 
Now for the area, it is a little more complicated. Okay, I cannot simply cut up it into squares, um, and we are not ready to create the formula based on a parallelogram. So for now, I will give you the formula. The area is base times height divided by 2. Okay, so for this triangle, the base is 7, the height is 3 divided by 2, so 23 times 7 is 21 divided by 2 is 10.5 square units. And that is the area of this triangle. The last shape is a circle. Find the circumference and area of a circle with radius 3 meters. Again, we are not ready to derive or come up with the equations for circumference and area, so I will give you these formulas. The circumference is pi times the diameter, and this is the diameter, or the circumference is 2 times pi times the radius, where this is the radius. Okay, now we are told to find the circumference of a circle with a radius of 3 meters. So the circumference is 2 times pi times 3, and 2 times 3 is 6 pi meters. If you want that as a decimal, 6 times pi is about 18.85 meters. Now for the area of a circle, the formula is pi times the radius squared. Now the radius is 3, so 3 squared means 3 times 3, which is 9. And so it's 9 pi meters. If you want a decimal, 9 times pi is about 28.27 meters. Next, the area addition postulate. The area of a shape is the sum of its parts. Okay, we don't have a formula for a shape like this. Okay, but I can cut it into parts where I can find the area of each part and then I add those areas together. Okay, here is an example. What is the area of this polygon? Okay, it's kind of a strange shape. But if I cut it like this, then I have a triangle and a rectangle. The area for the triangle is base times height divided by 2, where this is the base. Okay, now to find the base, I must know that this length is 4, so this length is 4. Now, if this length is 12, 
and this length is 4, this must be 8 feet. Now, to find the height, because of this line right here, it is the same as this one, so it is 4 feet. Okay, the area of this triangle is base, which is 8, times height, which is 4, divided by 2. 8 times 4 is 32, divided by 2 is 16. Okay, now for the rectangle, the area is base times height. The base of the triangle is 12. The height of the triangle is 4. So 12 times 4 is 48. Now, the area of this shape is 16 plus 48. Which is... 64 um, square feet. Okay, so I cut it into parts and found the area of the parts and added those areas together. This video was about perimeter, circumference, and area. Thank you for watching.